Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of sum of angles in a triangle. This is standard 7.11c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this triangle here and we've got some angles, but look, we've got 50 degrees. This angle here is 2x degrees and then we've got 3x minus 10. So we have to know something that is not provided for us. We need to know that the sum of angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. That's not given to us anywhere on our mathematics chart, but if you ever get uh, confused or free, just forgetful about how many degrees are in a triangle, this is how I always remember. Draw a rectangle or a square. You know you've got four right angles. So that's going to be four times 90 degrees because you know each of those are 90. So that equals 360. Then you can take that rectangle or square, cut it in half. So you think, all right, well, what is 360 cut in half? That's 180. And now you have the number of degrees in any triangle. Doesn't matter whether it's right, scalene, obtuse, 180. So that's one way to always remember that. So this looks kind of strange because we've got, we're used to solving for x, but I've got x in two different spots. Uh, and this looks to be a scaling triangle. It's kind of slanted to, this, to the side. It looks like all the different uh, sides are different lengths. So how do we solve this? Well, let's put this into an equation. And we're actually going to be able to combine some numbers that we might not be used to normally doing in seventh grade. I'm going to take these three terms, 50. I'm going to add them together because this plus this plus this, those three angles all equal 180. So I'm going to add this other angle. This other angle is 2x. And then I need to add this other angle. This one's the kind of the tricky one. It's 3x minus 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say plus. So that 3x is now going to be, it's going to be a positive 3x we can still keep the minus 10. So here's this angle right here, and then I've got that angle right there. So I don't really need those parentheses, but if you want to look at them separately, you can put them there. All of those three together equal my 180. So now all I need to do is I need to combine like terms. So I've got, this is the, the tricky part right here. I've got the 2x and the 3x. So 2 plus 3 makes 5. So 2x plus 3x makes 5x, because I've got 2x's, I've got 3x's. Add up those together, and I've got 5x's, because you don't really need to worry about these parentheses right here. I just added those to visually show you the difference there. And then I've got this 50 minus 10. And 50 minus 10 is 40. So I'm going to be left with 5x plus 40. That's a little bit easier for us to manage. We recognize that as a basic linear equation. And so now we know what to do. We have our order of operations. Remember when we are trying to isolate the variable, we go from the bottom up, right? And so we got that addition right there, the plus 40. So let's take away 40. That's our inverse operation. We're going to do that to both sides. That's going to cancel itself out. So we are going to subtract 40 from there. It's going to be 140. So it's 5x equals 140. That's a multiplication, so let's divide. And so we've got 5x divided by 5 just leaves you with 1x, or just x. And let's see, what is 140 divided by 5? That's going to be almost 3. That's 2. That's a 4. Well, that's 40, and that goes in 8 times. That's going to be nice and even. All right, so there we go. Our answer is going to be 28. X equals 28. The answer is J.